Hello everyone, praise the Lord. My name is Matthew and welcome to another Gospel Reflection. So I remember when I was in school, after we finished our final exams, uh, we had our final exams for at least a month and after that we were completely tired and uh, mentally we were very exhausted because of the amount of study that we used to uh, make and to give our exams uh, to pass actually. So after our exams, uh, like for a week or so, uh, we were in our own houses, we were watching TV and sometimes playing video games and all. But we were still tired, we wanted to do something different. And uh, so me, one of uh, one of my friends called me and said that, you know, there is a new restaurant which just opened. Uh, why don't we go and try out something? Now in those days, obviously we didn't have a source of income, so we used to ask our parents for money. And so we took some least amount of money that we could have taken. And so with that money, we went to that restaurant. And on the menu card is written, taste and see. We ordered our menus and with the amount of money that we, we took, uh, we couldn't take much. And so burger is the only thing that we could have affo afforded. So we ordered uh, one burger each for both of us. Uh, after, the burger, after the burger came and we ate it, trust me, it was different and it, its taste was peculiarly delicious. And that is not just the end. After we tasted that dish, it stayed with us. We went back home and it stayed with us. We had our dinner, it still stayed with us. And so we shared this experience with others, with the other friends of mine. And so the next day, the very next day, at least six to seven of them, of, of us, went to that restaurant. And we ordered another dish. And that experience was the same for the others. So, coming to the point, when Jesus says, Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. What does he mean? Does he mean only those who are tired? Does he mean only those who are exhausted? Or only those who are tired of, you know, uh, standing in front of people and trying to impress them? The family responsibilities, work responsibilities, personal responsibilities. Does he mean only those who know in the bottom of their heart that they need God, but they're very lazy to just get up and go before the Blessed Sacrament? Whom does he mean when he says, Come to me all. What does he mean by all? Well, the only answer is, when I ask you another question, tell me one person who doesn't have any problems in their life. Everybody in this world has problems in their life. And everybody in this world is laboring, working very hard, working passionately and sometimes working due to responsibilities, due to pressure. And so he invites everybody. He did, he did not says, come to me only those, but he says, come to me all. Because he knows that all of us are tired. All of us are working hard, work, studying hard, working hard, looking for a job to work hard, to feed their families. And at the end of the day, sometimes when we don't get our, the desired results, we are tired, we are broken. We say that I am fed up of all these things, I just can't take it anymore. So Jesus says, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden. Heavy laden with all the responsibilities upon their shoulders. Responsibilities that shouldn't come, but has come out early. To those, and especially to the young, especially to the young adults. Jesus knows your problems. He knows all the labors that you put into all throughout the day, throughout the month, throughout the year. He knows all the debts that you are carrying on your head. He knows each and every problem of yours. And so today, He is inviting you. And not just today, every moment, every second of your life, He knows that you are suffering. But He is gentle and humble in the very next verse. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 says, Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden. And in the very next verse He says, For I am gentle and humble and you need to learn from me. And he says that. Why does he call you? Because he is gentle and humble. And even though we need to continue responsibilities working for the rest of our lives, because he says the yoke I will put on you is light. 
even though he knows that in this life we have to work but he says that even though you will work but from now your work your pressure all the labor that you put in will not be as before your life will be changed your life will be transformed because now i am in your life so why don't you give jesus a chance he is there standing right before you he is there waiting for you and every moment of your life when you just break apart when you curse your employer when you curse the universe for bringing such terrible things upon you why don't you instead go and stand before jesus and say that jesus here i am and here are my problems what can you do for me i'm sure you will get your answer thank you